so if it is a neighbor with our current gem, then we're going to need to do some other stuff so that we can swap the two gems. So we're going to need some variables uh, a vector three called our gem one start gem one and gem two start gem two and we need a public rule is swapping set it to false um, we're going to need some references to our gems gem, gem 1, gem 2 and I think that's, oh yeah, we're going to need some start time public vote start time the start time is going to be this time of our swap between these two gems this is going to be the uh, position of our gem that we're starting at and the position that the gem wants to end at and the same thing for gem 2 and is swapping is going to be a bool function that we're gonna or a just a if statement that's going to be toggled if we're going to swap or if we are swapping and so in here we're going to set up all these variables so that we can swap between the two gems so the first thing is that is swapping is true because we're going to be swapping. Um, gem one is going to equal our last gem. Gem two is going to equal our current gem. Uh, gem one start is our last gem dot transform dot position to gem one and is equal so we're gonna move from this gem to uh, the other gem that we have so the gem one ends position is going to be the current gem the current gems position because we're moving from one gem to the other it's going to be the inverse for the other one that's going to equal current gem dot transform dot position and and our start time is going to be equals time dot time so we just want we just want to know at this time if we're going to be uh, this is the time that we're going to start swapping. Um, for our swapping, we're going to need two functions to do this actual swapping logic. Um, public void move gem, and then public void move. So one's going to move gem, one gem in the positive direction, the other one's going to move the gem in the negative direction so that it forms a proper swap in the look. You'll, you'll see when we get farther in what, why there's two. Alright, so these are going to have some actual values in them. Each one needs a gem or a gem to move. It needs the vector three, uh, two, vector three from, and then it's going to be the same over here. All right, so how does this work? We need to find the center between our two gems. Or between our two positions, and this is going to equal our from position minus our to position 
and this is going to be times by 0.5 to get the center and we want to offset our center by in the z direction so that one gem moves in front and one gem will move behind the other one 